into Open Mic UK Artist Development Tutorials with me, Chantelle Elizabeth. We're going to be looking at how to stop singing from your throat in five easy steps. As a new singer or even as someone who's been singing for quite some time, you might find that sometimes you feel some real tiredness in your throat. This is not going to sustain you for the long run. From keeping your throat clean to learning all about your diaphragm and a new way of breathing and even learning how to relax more deeply. You can strengthen your vocal sound in no time and explore vocal gymnastics that maybe you haven't before. Like any muscle, if you don't take care of it, you will damage it. If you always sing from your throat, your voice can become raspy and sound quite dry and not as beautiful as it should do. Now this might be a sound you're going for, but you could do yourself some serious damage. So learning how to sing from your belly rather than your throat is gonna sort you out in the long run. But don't worry, learning to stop singing from your throat can be achieved if you follow quite a few simple steps. Tip number one, how to know when you're singing from your diaphragm. So your diaphragm is a big muscle underneath your heart and lungs that allows your lungs to draw breath into your body. The diaphragm is the singer's ultimate utensil for really getting breath into your body, for you to be able to hit those high notes and sing for as long as you like. The diaphragm allows the lungs to take in air in a flexing and contracting motion. Maybe consider it a little bit like a balloon if you were to blow it up and let it down. This diaphragmic muscle works like this. When you breathe in deeply, it pulls down and as you breathe out, it pushes the air back up. Now this is something that happens naturally and consistently while you're sleeping, but you can also take a lot of control over it. Have a go at diaphragmic breathing right now. Place your hand on your tummy and breathe in. Let your at the air fill around your chest and let your belly push out. Fill your lungs right down to the bottom. Having this much air and control of your ability to breathe is ultimately gonna allow you to do so much more with your voice. Whatever you want to achieve, whether it's singing high notes, rapping really fast, you need that air in your body to pass over your vocal cords and swirl out into a mass of beautiful sound. So tip number two is to relax your throat when you're singing. This is something you might not even realise that you're doing, but quite often we hold a lot of tension. You'll be nervous, you'll be anticipating areas that are harder for you to sing. The more at ease and relaxed you and your throat are when singing, the more you'll be able to achieve and the longer you'll be able to perform. Form, whether it's from tension or whether it's from being ill prepared, having a relaxed throat will really develop your singing voice and allow you to explore more of the nuances within it. These constrictor muscles in the throat are very strong for getting food and water down into our bodies. But you don't want them constricted and tight when you're singing, you want them really relaxed. There are a few ways of relaxing your throat. As Carrie Cole explains on her website, which I recommend you exploring, carriecole.com, an easy way to find if you've got tension in your throat is to place your fingers on your Adam's apple and feel it moving up and down. The more tension there is, the more likely it is to be in the higher part of your throat. Take some small yawns, particularly the beginning of a yawn will help your throat relax and you can feel the Adam's apple going down. With every repeating yawn, add in a ah, and try using different notes that you're comfortable with. Ah, and you can really feel that your throat relax after this small exercise. Tip number three is to exercise and start understanding your diaphragm. A really good place to start thinking about how to become better at controlling your diaphragm is thinking about good posture. Now, I'd like to direct you again to a website called jabberdi.com who gives lots of different advice and wise advice about how to stand correctly as a singer. Standing straight and tall with relaxed shoulders and your feet placed firmly on the 
ground will just mean that your diaphragm has got plenty of space to be as open as it can be. In this strong grounded position, try placing your hand on your belly and filling your belly and practice doing this regularly. This is actually training for your diaphragm. Practice taking in breath for longer and longer periods of time. When you first start out, you might only be able to breathe in for five seconds, but work on building this up so that before long you'll find that you can take breath in for 10 seconds and almost doubling the amount of air possibly that you have in your lungs. Imagine what you can do with that much air as a vocalist. Tip number four is all about relaxing your throat while you're actually singing. So for whatever reasons you might have developed some tension on stage, the more open your throat is, the easier it is to sing from your diaphragm. Like an athlete, you have to factor in how your body moves and how to use it and make sure that you're maximizing its potential at all times. Practice diaphragmic breathing when you're moving around. As you get better at it and more used to it, practice it when you're running, when you're in the gym, when you're walking, when you're doing any activity that's got your body moving in a different way, this will really help your stage presence and your ability to keep notes going. Basically, the solution to tight throat when you're singing is preparation. You must warm up. You must take the time to do exercises before you sing. You've got no excuse. You don't need to take out an instrument and warm up. Your instrument is built in. So no matter where you are and no matter how you feel, whether you're a bit embarrassed about it, practice your warm-up exercises before every gig. So tip number five is all about keeping your throat healthy. Professional singers don't go out when there's viruses. They don't smoke. They don't drink excessively. They take really good care of their bodies just like anyone using their body as a career. You need to consider this too. Keeping your throat clean and hygienic and keeping it hydrated will all help you relax, understand your vocals and what you can do with and ultimately make you a better singer. To nurture your throat in the best way possible, a little cup of honey and ginger on a regular basis will keep it nice and infection free. To some extent, pure pineapple juice is great for the throat as well. There are lots of other different tips like this that you could use to get your throat in top tip shape. So that's it for me today. How to stop singing from the throat. Five tips for you to take away and try and see how you can develop your vocals. Once you've got them there, then why don't you enter our competition at openmic.co.uk. And if you need more advice and tutorials, then visit our advice page. My my name is Chantelle and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now!